It's August 2nd, and you know what that means. In today's video, we're going to look at my vision board for August, the end of summer, and it's all about fantasy vacations. I can't wait. Hi, I'm Bonnie Overman. I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope my channel will inspire you to lead a more productive, creative, and stylish life at any age, always on a budget. You know I'm gonna be 72 this year and I just say it because if I can do it, I know you can do it too at any age. I wanna just thank my wonderful, wonderful subscribers, all my dear friends for watching my videos and commenting and supporting me. It really means a lot to me. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so because you don't want to miss all these holiday videos coming up with so many great ideas. And if you love this, please give me a thumbs up. It does help my channel. Happy August. And what do we got behind me? I am now launching. Remember I said July was my, kind of my wrapping up of summer, even though it's hot as heck in California. We can always pretend. I am starting my fall pillow collection out here. And it's, um, this is going to be up for August and September. And then, of course, we go to Halloween. Yeah, we have a lot to look forward to. But for this month, it's Fantasy Vacations. And it's all things global and ethnic and exotic. And what do I love so much? I love animal prints. You can see there's my pillows on either side. Paisley. This one's got an elephant on it. These are all the warm tones I love to bring in for this time of year. Just the start of uh, fall, but we're talking about fantasy vacations. So up here, it's fantasy vacations. It could be safari, tropical, it could be Paris, it could be the Southwest, wherever it is, but we're going to travel somewhere either that you have a wonderful memory of or that you've never been before. Think about that. Do you want uh, one dinner or one weekend or one month of celebrating someplace you'd like to go? You can pretend it's Hawaii or, or Paris, France or the Southwest or uh, be in Africa with all the animals and learn all about them. There's so many things you can do, but this is the way if you don't like to, I don't like to travel. I know some of you probably travel, you love it. To me, it's torture. I traveled so much for business in my life. You know, I was in outside sales. I worked for the number one French company in optical uh, lenses and also the German company in optical lenses. And I traveled all the time and it was stressful and it was all about work and it was just, it was a lot. So I don't enjoy it. I get jet lag easy, I get tired. I'm hot, I'm tired, I, you know, I just, I don't like it. I just want to like wiggle my nose and be where I want to be. In fact, I love to watch PBS and watch all the travel shows and that's good enough for me. But if you're like me or you can't afford it or you just can't do it, recreate these things in your home, in the backyard, in your living room, in your on your balcony, somewhere, wherever you live, create a fantasy vacation for yourself. You deserve it. All right, so... When we talk about ethnic, global, international things, I love these kind of African-inspired uh, tags with the beads and the raffia from Dollar Tree. And um, we're also going to be doing some collages like this, perfect for bags, tags, cards, uh, tear trays, whatever you want to do. But I'm also going to show you how to make some of these old-looking postcards. We're talking about traveling, so postcards, travel notebooks. By the way, stay till the end. I have something to show you. Look at this cute napkin ring with all the raffi and the beads on it. And then we also have some map-oriented tags. So I'm going to put this in my office to remind me to stay on track. All right, so... I'm so excited for this whole season that's starting, but to August is kind of that shifting month. You know, it's we're transitioning now into fall. Kids might be starting back to school, um, even though it might be hot as heck, you know, wherever you are. Um, like I said, we can create whatever we want to create in our homes and uh, have some fun. Have some fun with all of this. So I'd like to tell you, uh, we're talking about African safari, tropical uh, destination, a Paris, a uh, France trip, a magical Southwest. So those are some of the things I'm going to be using this month when we talk about the different things I do. So let's talk about first decor. 
So if you would see my house when I don't have any seasonal decor up, this you're going to see it this month because my look in my living room and my dining room are kind of a desert Moroccan rustic look. Okay, if that makes any sense. I like I I like the kind of more modern, but I like everything rustic. You know, the natural woods and and textures on things and things like that. So you're going to see a Moroccan desert look in my living room. My den, I kind of have different things in each room, but my den is all about Indiana Jones. I picture I I kind of created a spot where he would come back after doing all his search for treasures. You know, I wanted to go into um, anthropology when I was in college. Um, but I got sunburned really bad, so that wasn't going to work. But I tried to make it kind of masculine in there. So I have a lot of old vintage suitcases, old books. I have um, artifacts, things like that. So he come back from a trip, have his suitcases, have some books to read, and have, you know, put his artifacts up and things like that. And then in my little trunk, I'm going to do a safari display, like he just got back from safari and opened up his trunk and all the goodies that are inside. So that's my decor for August. Remember, next month is full on fall and harvest and autumn. So, tablescapes. I have four tablescapes for you. We are going to do a magical southwestern one with kind of Mexican-looking dishes on it a African safari with a pan-painted zebra tablecloth, a tropical one with the most beautiful orchid table uh, cloth that I have, and orchids on the table and shells and coral. So it could be Bora Bora, it could be Hawaii, it could be any of those tropical places where we love the beautiful water and the sand and the palm trees. The next one is going to be all about uh, Paris. So I'm going to do a cute little country French um, Paris type um, tablescape with you with my French pig. It's going to be like a French patisserie um, and some Eiffel Tower cakes and things like that. It's going to be really, really fun. I'm also doing four tiered trays for you again. Now, if you don't want to do all the stuff I do, just do a tiered tray or a cake stand. That's all you have to do and you can have fun with that. It'll make you smile every time you walk by. Again, we're doing a Southwestern one. We're gonna be doing one with safari animals, a tropical one and a Paris one, a country French one. I'm gonna be doing crafts for you. Oh my gosh, in the first craft video, we're gonna do the tags I showed you, those tropical ethnic tags. We're gonna be doing charming Paris tags that look very shabby chic. I'm gonna show you how to make, take paper, scrap paper, and make collages that you can frame and put on the wall and use as art. It's, it's really fabulous and it costs pennies. So that's gonna be the first craft video. The second one is all about um, napkin rings and placemats. How to make some really interesting coordinating napkin rings and placemats. When your dishes are more plain, you just wanna use white dishes and boy, the, the placemats and the napkin rings will steal the show. Um, and I'm gonna show you how I paint my zebra cloth. I try to do this every year because you can paint it and make it look like real zebra cloth. If you wanna do a safari party or even a tropical party and have that out there, look really good. The next one's all about making travel journals out of paper uh, uh, bags or just pieces of cardboard or animal prints. I'm gonna have a video on how to use decor, like pillows like over here, or how to do clothes or shoes or bags or whatever in animal prints that really can be used as a neutral print, but it really spices up your life. The next one's all about orchids. You know, I can't keep anything alive, but I'm gonna show you how to make realistic looking orchid plants, how you put together all the pieces and make it look real. Also, I'm gonna show you how to make my blue lotus flowers I used on my Egyptian table. I thought they came out really good and um, I think it's gonna be really interesting. So I can't wait to show you that. So the last one on organizing, is gonna to touch a little bit on photos from trips, how to kind of use those mementos, um, how to store some of your late summer a decor things right in the open. I, I'm gonna show you how to do that. And I'm gonna to try to get to my grapevine wreath and show you how you can just change out the decor a little bit on your wreath and you can use that same wreath over and over and you don't need nine million of them. Okay, 
So I appreciate you staying till the end. I just wanted to show you what I'm gonna be showing you how to make. And I'm gonna also show you again, I have a fall one and I have a um, Christmas one. This is just two pieces of cardboard put together, glued on here, and then I do pockets. So I have a pocket in the front and these all things all come out. But this is the travel notebook from a safari. And here's the itinerary. We have pictures of some of the artifacts they saw on the trip. And then again, two more pockets inside. And I'm gonna show you how to make that and I can't wait. So here we go, August. And then September, October, November, December. It's like a, just a blast every single month. So be thinking about where is your fantasy vacation and how you can create that in your own home. It's either a memory or a dream vacation. Anyway, I hope you love this. I hope you got so inspired and excited for August. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye.